Hey guys, welcome to the channel. As you all might know, lift is a very important factor for an aircraft. It is used to raise the aircraft off the ground and enables it to fly. Many unique aircraft designs were made to increase the lift. One among them is the flying wing, which we have already covered. If you haven't watched it yet, the link is in the description below. Another unique design that I'd like to talk about today is the Bernelli wing. The Bernelli wing is a type of lifting body aircraft which was designed by American aeronautics engineer Vincent Bernelli. In a normal airliner, the fuselage of the aircraft generates about 7-13% to of the lift based on the design. Bernelli hit upon the idea of shaping the fuselage of an aircraft like an airfoil. Instead of simply dragging the fuselage through the air and unnecessarily burning the wings, Bernelli reasoned that his fuselage would generate lift. This lifting fuselage would reduce the structural load on the wings. So in the early 1920s, he designed two biplanes called the RB-1 and the RB-2. The fuselage of these aircraft was designed in the shape of an aerofoil to reduce drag and also increase its contribution to lift. The aircraft was capable of carrying 25 passengers. The fuselage contributed to about 500 square feet of the lifting surface. This is one third of the total wing area. The body was so wide that it was able to accommodate two 550 horsepower engines side by side on the nose. But the models weren't really successful as they were extremely sluggish and slow. Bernelli also wasn't able to secure proper funds for financing his aircraft. So in 1928, he built the CB-16. The CB-16 was designed as a monoplane with retractable gear. It was the first twin-engine aircraft to have retractable gears. However, the aircraft did not cross the prototype phase as it crashed and got destroyed during testing. Bernelli continued to design and build aeroplanes based on this lifting fuselage concept into the late 1940s. He managed to persuade various people to fund six more prototype aircraft, but none of them ever went into full-scale production. The most famous among his prototypes was the CBY-3 Loadmaster. It was a fixed-wing monoplane with much bigger and more streamlined fuselage. It used a twin-boom tail rudder to aid in the yaw action. This aircraft also had retractable landing gears and was powered by two Pratt & Whitney twin wasp radial engines with each of them generating 1200 horsepower. Until his death in 1964, Bernelli continued to sketch designs for aircraft ranging from commercial jet transports to suborbital space planes. All of them employed this lifting fuselage concept. Well, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll meet again in the next one. Bye.